Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold and resolve the critical error kernel power 41 that you're coming across when you're booting up your computer, and perhaps you're coming across this memory error on your computer. So generally speaking, if there's an issue with your power supply, that's usually where this issue will stem from. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. So go left click on the start button one time. Type in control panel. Plus minute should come back with control panel right with app. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to go set your view by up here to large icons and then select the power options. Select show additional plans. Select choose what the power button does. Now on the right side underneath shutdown settings, there might be an option to turn on fast startup. You want to uncheck that. Again, it'll depend if your hardware supports it or not, but if you see an option for that, I'd recommend unchecking that and then left click on save changes. Now that you're done with that, close out of here. Open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best man should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this LMA command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard once you have it as it appears on my screen. This will take a couple moments to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once you've run that one, I'm going to have another command in the description of my video. So I'm just actually going to just copy and then paste it in the top bar of the command prompt. You can paste it in as well, or you just copy what's on my screen. So it's going to, so I'm just going to right click on the top bar after I've copied it. I'm going to click edit and then paste. I have this in the description of my video. So it's chkdsk followed by a space forward slash f followed by another space forward slash r. Hit enter on your keyboard. You will have to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts. I'm going to type Y on my keyboard, just the letter Y, hit enter. Close out of here, close out of any open applications you have, so just make sure they're all saved. And then you want to restart your computer. It's going to prompt you if you want to cancel the disk check to press any key on your keyboard. Do not press any key on your keyboard, just want to allow that to continue uninterrupted. Okay guys, we're back, so hopefully I was able to fix your problem, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.